What's up, family? I'm talking about something. I love watching movies. I watch a lot of movies. Um, especially when I'm working with kids and adults. And one of the things that I do is I'll put on a movie. And I'll tell them what the movie is. What we're going to watch. And without fail, whether they're kids or adults. Oh, I've seen that movie. I love that movie. I've seen that movie a hundred times. I've seen that movie a thousand times. I've seen that movie so many times. I know everything about that movie. Okay, cool. With the kids, I tell them, I'm glad you've seen it that many times. It means it's going to be easy for you to write a four-page report about this movie. Don't tell me what the movie's about. Because I already know what it's about. Tell me what you learned about yourself in this movie. Tell me how does this movie relate to your life. Tell me how this movie can help other people going through things in life. Because now they have to look at the movie from a totally different perspective. Now they're no longer looking at the movie from an entertainment perspective. Now they're looking at the movie to get the lessons. And it's crazy because however many times they saw this movie, they never saw it from the perspective of what is this movie trying to teach me? What could this movie teach me? What should I learn from this movie? How can this movie help me? One of the greatest scenes, one of the greatest phrases ever uttered in a movie to me is remember who you are. Remember who you are. There's a scene in Lion King. Simba, like many of us, ran into some uncomfortable things. And like many of us, tried to run away from it. And in the process of trying to run away from his problems, he lost his identity. And my favorite scene in that movie, The Lion King, the original one, is where Rafiki takes Simba to a pool of water. And he sees a vision of his father. And his father is saying to him, remember who you are. Remember who you are. In the Black Panther, there's a scene where it's challenge day on who's going to be the Black Panther and lead the country. And the mountain tribe shows up. And they're challenging for this right, this position, this title. And the Black Panther's getting beat. He's losing the battle. And the movie shifts, the director shifts the movie to, or the camera to his mother. And she's yelling, remember who you are. Remember who you are. And as a, on point, he hears his mother saying, remember who you are. 
he musters up some extra strength. He digs deeper. And the fight shifts to where he ends up winning. The interesting thing about remembering who you are is that you first must know who you are. You can't remember who you are if you don't know who you are. i say it again. You can't remember who you are if you don't know who you are. And the thing with most of us, we spend our life trying to figure out who we are. One of the greatest questions of all time is who am I? Why am I here? Remember who you are. It's crazy because when you think about Batman, Batman as a little kid saw his mother and father murdered. He didn't allow that pain, that loneliness, that suffering to make him so angry and toxic to where he became a bad guy. He fueled that energy into helping others and being a good guy. Because that's who he was. That's who his father was. That's what his mother was about. The Joker, on the other hand, went through some difficult times, had hard childhood, had hard life. And he wanted to be accepted. He wanted to be cherished. See, the Joker never knew who he was. He never knew who his dad was. He never knew who he was. His mom was psychotic. So there was no one there to give him any guidance. There was no one there to give him any instruction on who he is. And so he looked for acceptance from anywhere he could get it. And when he couldn't get it, something changed within him to where he became angry. And now he wanted to unleash his hurt, his pain, his suffering on humanity. Who are you? Who are you? The great majority of us have gone through some difficult things in our life. <clears throat> the great majority of us have gone through a lot of different trying situations. Truth. Many of us turn to drugs, alcohol, sex, so many other different things. To mask the pain or find acceptance into who we are. My hope and prayer for you. That above anything and everything else, you find out who you are. You find out who you are. I love you guys. Peace.